Hey everybody, it's Ranger Kristen, and I am here with another Ranger Minute for you. I'm currently sitting in a ponderosa pine forest, which is one of my favorite um, ecological zones here where I work. So let me kind of give you a, a little bit of a peak view. So we're up in um, an area of high desert that also has uh, yucca. We've got, um, <coughs> excuse me um cactus so there's a lot of interesting things here in the forest to to see but one of my favorite things is called an abert squirrel and here in my area of colorado um they're all black and they've got these cute little tassels on their ears and just such a fun little critter um so they live pretty much exclusively in the ponderosa pine forest and really rely on um, the forest for all their food, um, all their, you know, spaces to mate and raise young and all of that. So let me, I've got a picture for you right here. Hopefully you can see it okay. So that's the black um, ones that we have here. If you go to other places, um, the more common coloration, I think, is like a gray with white underbelly, maybe a little bit of reddish rufous on its back. Uh, if you go to the north rim of the Grand Canyon, the Kaibab variation, so it's a subspecies, they are black with white tails. They're really, really cool looking. Um, and I just remember seeing them when I worked at the canyon and I was like, oh my gosh, these things are so fun, so cool. Um, <laughs> I sound like a dork, don't I? Uh, but I just, I love them. They're just these cute little um, tassel-eared tassel arboreal squirrels. Unfortunately, they also are kind of getting outcompeted by non-native fox squirrels that were brought in um, to the area. And those guys are a lot bigger and they kind of take over. So you're not seeing quite as many... Um, and, and some of it's just natural fluctuations in the uh, in the groups. You know, obviously in better years, you're going to have more squirrels. Harder years, you're going to have less, that sort of thing. But uh, they're really um, kind of a, an indicator of forest health, which is one of the things I find really interesting about them. So in an area where you have a healthy ponderosa pine forest, a mature forest, um, you're going to have more squirrels because they rely on the big trees for um, nesting. They usually nest in the, like, the upper third. So you'll either see like a ball, um, traditional kind of squirrel um, nest ball, or uh, there's something called dwarf mistletoe, which actually kind of infects the tree. And it creates this weird misshapen, um, we call it a witch's broom. And... Uh, so sometimes the squirrels run less in that too. And they pretty much, like I said earlier, a lot of their diet comes from the tree. So they'll eat um, the needles, they'll eat um, the inner bark, they'll eat um, the pine cones. So they they really, you know, like having a... A, a pine tree to, to, to eat from. Um, they'll, oh, and the seeds and buds as well. Almost forgot that. So they'll eat all of that. And they actually have a really interesting way of um, picking the trees. So they'll have, you know, certain trees that they eat from and then certain trees that they only nest in. And part of that has to do with uh, some of the chemicals in um, the sap. I believe it is, and ones that have more of this chemical they don't like as much. So they, they find the trees that don't have um, that specific chemical. So you can always kind of tell which is a feeding tree because you're going to have little bundles of twigs um, that are on the ground, maybe some chewed up uh, pieces of the, the stems of the, like the bundles. And so you'll know that that's a, a feeding tree for the the squirrels, which is really cool. The squirrels 
also uh, like mushrooms and fungi and things like that. And the fungi, that's really interesting because there's certain fungi that live like right nestled into the roots of the trees. And so the squirrels will dig down and they'll eat the fungi. And then as they defecate, they'll actually um, spread the spores throughout the forest, which increases forest health. Um, and it's just this really cool symbiotic relationship between the trees and, um, and the squirrels. Occasionally, you're going to see them eating things like the dwarf mistletoe, insects, um, and then a lot of rodents eat antler and bone, which most folks don't know about. So if you do happen to come across like an antler shed when you're out in the forest, leave it. I know they're really cool and everybody wants to take them home with them. But if you leave it, you're leaving um, a food source, like you know, calcium and all that, for um, squirrels and mice and other little uh, animals that live in the forest. Oh, what else? Um, so they breed in, I believe it's April and May. Um, they carry the young for about 40 days and they usually have like three or four babies. Um, only go to see apert squirrels generally with other ones when they're either breeding or caring for young. So outside of that, they're generally out by themselves. Um, Then, uh, oh, I know what I was going to say with that. <laughs> Lost my train of thought there for a second. So if you do see it, it's actually pretty exciting because um, there's not, you know, like deer, they're always in a herd. Well, usually. Um, turkeys, you're, you're going to see more than one usually. So if you see a squirrel, it's like, you know, a special gift that you were able to, to see one of them. Um... I think that's the main things about the, the Aberts. I wish I had one just happen to be in the area. Um, I saw a bunch yesterday, which made me think, oh, I need to do a video on them. But of course, when I try to do it, then they're not where I can just show you the cute little guys. But what you gonna do? Um, so it's, like I said, it's pretty special, at least for me when I see them. All right, hope everybody's doing well. Again, if you have thoughts for what you want to see on ranger videos, let me know. I mean, it could be anything from, you know, plants to animals to, you know, how to hike and plan a, a trip, that sort of thing. So let me know what you want to see. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep uh, making it up as I go along. <laughs> Alrighty, everybody. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you next time. Bye.